for today's session we'll focus on starting a microservice and testing the same microservice from a tool named postman we'll see how do we configure postman so that we can test the running services or apis so to start with i'm just in my pycharm i'm trying to start the services on a particular node so you see now my services are running here and yes i tested it is running fine so next step is i go into postman and in postman the first step is going to be create a new collection collection is basically a col collection of requests that you are going to send to your endpoints and in this demonstration i will also show where are the endpoints how can we construct the endpoints and how do we send the request to the endpoint and get the response and we can validate certain things in the response as well so this collection i am naming it as test collection inside the collection i'll create my requests so i say add request and the request name i will give it as get request save to test collection so if you see my get request is stored here now to this i will also add another request and name it as port put request so here in this case i am going to test two of the requests ideally for any apis you can configure get post put patch all these requests that you see here you can configure all of them delete copy for your api where do we configure this so if i go to my pycharm and in my code i can say something like this and i say the methods which are valid for my this method or, or function that i have designed so this methods get delete and post put are valid for this particular call and for only product call i have two valid methods so i'm going to test this get one in the product so now my services are running here so i copy this and then i put it into this is a get request so if it is a get put or post or delete you have to select the corresponding one from here in the postman for that you have to make sure that you construct the request by taking in the inputs about how you have designed so for a get request i don't have to pass anything in the body so i'm just leaving the body as blank and i'm just passing this when i say send i get my response so i can go to my response body and see what all things have been responded by the server as a response body so these all details are uh, coming in from the db server and you always can check the status the status 200 says it is a valid response and or a successful response uh, if it is a response like 404 or 500 uh, you can make out 
it, it, it is like the internal server error for 500 404 resource not found so these kind of errors are written if your response uh, your request is not correct so now we have seen that how the api is constructed and how do we test this particular thing now even i'll show you the put request that we have configured for products slash product id so the second one that we have added as put request i'll convert it to a put one I'll copy this from here. I don't have any validations for, for product ID. So I'll just put it as 102. Now I need to give a body to this particular request because if you see the code for put, just scrolling down, give me a second. just a second yeah here is my put request so if you see my put request i expect these all values to be passed in the request in my put request so if i go to postman now all these values i have to pass as a json so what i say i say this as raw and then text format I select it as JSON application. Once you add this, you can see the same thing content type as JSON. And the body, I have already constructed the body so that I don't waste your time. So I copy this and paste it in the body section. Maybe I think I change it to something like. 29 and then I send request. Okay. Okay, let me go back and check what is going wrong. I'll just take this image and let me see if this solves the issue. Okay. So this way you can uh, see your logs and uh, make out what is the exact issue that is happening a record inserted successfully into the respective table and this one wanted to put address back The connection is successful. No type object has no height. item. Okay, so basically, this is how you, uh, you know, kind of go to and forth between Postman and your uh, application backend, and you can make sure whatever you are trying to achieve. Uh, is being uh, done using Postman. So once your issue is fixed, you will probably get a 200 error, 200 status here, which will say that your request is working fine. Thanks for watching.